In the speeches, PGSS has probably been related to many things. A dream, the movie Real Genius, induction. <laughs> but though it may surprise you, I don't think anyone's ever related it to one of the most fascinating phenomena in the universe, black holes. But <laughs> before I attempt such a daring feat, Andy Grove, the former CEO of Intel, once said, do what you love and then figure out a way to get paid for it. I suggest that the Pennsylvania Government School for the Sciences version of this advice is, do what you love and then do it 24-7. <laughs> As anyone can attest, I believe we have fully lived up to this. Nowhere else do I hear of and partake in wild homework parties, <laughs> jouster problem all-nighters, and witness someone's pie bond being get ripped off in a reenactment of a Grignard reaction directed by Josh Kogan. <laughs> it's difficult now to think about our first day, but I can recall when some mysterious and wonderful TA, still unknown to me, enthusiastically greeted me by name before I even had a chance to get out of the car. My bags were whisked away, and I was ushered to an underground couch heaven. <laughs> there was a social events calendar. It was big. It said things like square dancing and the no talent show. The mere mention of the word frisbee triggered a mass exodus to the nearest field. It's like looking through a telescope at a big black hole. You can't see it, but you're heading straight for it with seriously relativistic speed. <laughs> Rapidly, the gravitational field intensified, distorting space-time. In other words, class started and the first homework was assigned. The Pennsylvania Governor's School for the Sciences gave us homework and team projects we could only survive if we collaborated, if we taught each other, or was sought our amazingly cool, patient, and very smart TAs for explanations. The residential life staff, otherwise known as our second family, organized uh, social events such as I never fathomed before our first square dance. For example, from Double Dare, that tennis ball in the Panio's head thing was ingenious. <laughs> the, first dance uh, the first dance party was absolutely the best dance I ever pretended to be able to dance at. <laughs> and of course, our devoted teachers and team project advisors who taught us the material that maximized the learning we love. Occasionally, I'm over overwhelmed when I'm having such an exceptional time. As a result, we formed a community, an atmosphere, unlike I've ever had the privilege to experience. It's a community in which competition is virtually non-existent, and no one has, and one has no fear of ridicule or rejection, even if you dress as a 60s Stanford hippie with a balloon on your head, otherwise known as TRNA. <laughs> Indeed, you know you're in an extraordinary place when you're also not the only one. <laughs> Some people believe that at the event horizon of a black hole, one encounters a honeycomb of portals to an infinite number of parallel universes, but also that you can never pass back into the universe you started in. We've passed through a massive black hole to other parallel universes, and we'll never be the same. It's impossible to take away our new knowledge, new confidence, and shared experiences at PGSS.
Uh, great speech, Elaine. I thought it was really great. Say that. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about some recent mistakes I have made. <laughs> First off, I have committed numerous breaches of etiquette during the course of this dinner. In the future, I'm going to make a serious attempt to avoid the temptation to model buckyballs using our table's collection of silverware. <laughs> the second terrible mistake I made was coming to PGSS for all the wrong reasons and with almost completely incorrect expectations. I applied because I figured it would be five semi-decent weeks with a bunch of my fellow geeks. Naturally, I assumed we would spend all five weeks sitting underground in some dark, isolated computer lab trying to solve the world's problems. My understanding was that by the end of the five weeks, we would all emerge from the bunker and immediately shrink away from the sun's rays, shrieking, oh, it burns, it burns. <laughs> I hoped that going to PGSS might help get me into college, and I decided that I would give it a shot. Five weeks away from my friends wouldn't be that long. When I arrived, it was a little intense. Dr. Farrell looked like the most straight-laced, no-nonsense professor in the world. Dr. Schaefer seemed to be the smartest man on the face of the planet. <laughs> Resident Life Director Todd was surely the scariest man in the world. <laughs> Dr. Walker sounded a little like Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> looked a little like Billy Bob Thornton and had a thing about coffee. The work seemed impossible. The social activities seemed a little kiddie-ish and I believe I lost about 20% of my body weight the first week due to dorm room temperatures soaring above 500 kelvins. <laughs> now, let me make it clear. If PGSS has taught me one thing, it's taught me that I'm wrong. A lot. <laughs> I was pretty far off on my initial PGSS assessments. Dr. Farrell turned out to be one of the most exciting, dynamic teachers I have ever met. His jokes about seawater and the name's Bond, Covalent Bond, <laughs> placed our faithful chemistry teacher into the all-time gloriously geeky joke hall of fame. <laughs> The work was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, but it got done after numerous 4 a.m. chat sessions with the appropriate subject area TA. Dr. Walker ended up completely reinventing the words cool and whoa. <laughs> I feel great about my education after PGSS. In fact, I sleep easier at night now that I've learned how to use induction to prove that post-midnight fire alarms are in fact the work of certain relativistic jousters. <laughs> I wasn't totally off on my pre-PGSS predictions, however. RLD Todd is confirmed to be the scariest man alive. <laughs> and all current clues indicate that Dr. Schaefer is in fact the younger, smarter, and infinitely more hip brother of Mr. Albert Einstein. <laughs> By the way, that thing about the sun's rays, I think that actually happened with some of the physics kids. A little too much time in the dungeon, come out of the sun. Just what I've heard. Nothing at all can be compared to my fellow 2003 guppies, though. In all seriousness, I've never been in a place where I felt so accepted. I really feel like I truly belong with the rest of my class. Over the past five weeks, I've experienced the unimaginable with you guys at my side. Together, we have flown high above Kennywood on the steel phantom. Together, we have peer pressured T.A. Marissa into going down the gigantic speed slide at the water park. Together, we have miserably failed in our attempt to decipher the Greek language whenever it popped up in Origins of Math Ideas. <laughs> Together, we have succeeded in smoking PGSS 2002 in soccer. Although, I must say, a lot of that was due to Rob Pye being all that is man and the defense boys, led by Chris Moore and Matt Robbins. 
Together we did Double Dare and watched Dave Resnick become all too familiar with a whipped cream pie as he searched for the third non-existent ping pong ball in, in which he believed his house inside. What I am trying to say is that I never thought I could feel so free, so liberated, so loved until I met all of you guys. I don't know how to sum up my feelings towards all of you, but suffice to say, the next time I see any of my fellow gummies on the street, or in a mall, or possibly at a formal dinner, I will in fact scream out your name and come running towards you at relativistic speeds. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank everyone, especially Dr. Lucala, the TAs, and obviously my fellow gummies. I hope everyone realizes how amazing the TAs are. These guys and girls have given up their summers to be with us, and I have really been inspired by what these PGSS graduates are doing with their lives. I think it's really important that we all show our appreciation to the TAs. Frankly, I would suggest singing some sort of love ballad <laughs> or serenade to the TA of your choice. Gummies, I love you all, and I'd like to say now that I am so up for a summer 2004 road trip against across Pennsylvania. Let's wrap this up with a few of my favorite quotes. Albert Einstein said, education is what remains after one has forgotten everything he learned in school. And Robert Browning said, ah, but a man's reach should exceed his grasp, or what's a heaven for? I hope that each and every one of us here tonight keeps on reaching for excellence, because if we will, we will change the world. Thank you. <laughs>